you flirted with that man in front of me and his wife, who is pregnant. Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays, and welcome back to the Plum Generation and my Not So Berry Challenge. Perfect timing, my darling. She just got home. She wants to talk over her relationship fears, which given I think she also wants to start a new relationship, I'm wondering how much of her relationship fears is not jealousy, it's fear about her own commitment. But the welcome wagon has arrived. So we have Angelo Molland and his wife. Mio, who is pregnant, and apparently they have two other kids. So my plan is these guys actually went to work while I was doing world level stuff because I wanted to bring a photo of Phoenix across. I realized I didn't have one of him on his own, so I actually got Thorn to bring one over and leave it. So I didn't do an active day. She was never going to get promoted because she needs to diagnose and treat three patients, which means I have to do active career to tick that off. Why are there cats here? I didn't put cat hangout on this lot, did I? Or did I? Because I was contemplating taking them to an animal shelter to adopt a cat or a dog. And I thought about, you know, how would an animal shelter work? I was literally just thinking about this before I hit record. I was like, I could download an animal shelter from the gallery, put cat hangout and dog hangout on it as traits. And then in theory, if it's like a residential lot with a sim living there, we can visit wait for the animals to start showing up and then just click one and add to family and then deduct some money. And I thought that would be a really nice way of having them adopt. But now I'm wondering if I put it on as a trait because this is weird. I did. I have apparently got cat hangout on this lot, which is so weird to me. I'm not going to keep it on for long. Sure. Oh, you're bald. Don't you jump on my bench, kitty cat. So Robert is a cat. Like he's, oh, are you jealous? Oh, did you flirt with someone since? And she's jealous too. You, who flirted with who? She's flirted with Angela or he's flirted with her. Oh, don't you dare. Absolutely not. I don't even know why that's an interaction. It's fine. Say hello to this cat. Say hello to all the cats. Oh my God, it's so loud in here. Oh, she is so mad. She's like, how dare you flirt with a neighbor? She attempted romance. It sounds like she's the one who's instigated it. Oh my god, Synth. And she has this. Okay, we're not starting a relationship with Angelo, but I'm actually genuinely wondering. And let me know what you guys think. I'm actually thinking she might have an affair. And that could be what leads to the divorce. Because she does need to get divorced. She is non-committal. And she keeps having whims or wants or whatever we call them these days to start a new relationship determine baby's gender i mean gender and sex aren't the same thing and i don't know how you could determine their gender from before they're born but that's fine all right let's see how this works now i do want to go visit lavender and see if lavender's pregnant a hyacinth's expert opinion is that she's having a little girl look mc command center had already told me that and now he's feeling oh my god i have to end this welcome wagon i think we're just gonna ask these people to leave you should probably go. It's gotten really awkward really fast. You could try and discuss your fears with him, but he would quite late, rightly be... Look, I told you to leave. Dude, get out. Look, if I am going to get a pet, I need a ball anyway, right? I'm just... Maybe I'll just do it. I'll, I just don't want to adopt a cat without knowing his personality. And I think Synth has the observant trait. If not, she might have the points for it because it's not that expensive and it's the best. So I'm just going to get a cat ball... And a kitty litter tray so that this bloody animal will shut up. I don't actually mind the idea of keeping this cat hangout, but if I do that, I'm going to lock this door. Oh, you're hissing too. Cat hangout. I've played with cat hangout before. I, if you've seen my cat little cat lady series that I did, you will know how wildly chaotic that trait can be on a lot. Mischievous, playful, and affectionate. Oh, Mischievous sounds honestly like trouble, but also very cute. I think... We should adopt little Sumi here. Now, I am going to do this as an adoption, as in I'm going to do this, which is what I was talking about doing. I forgot how chaotic it was. I don't know how I forgot, but I'm going to take that off. Let's do Grady Acoustics. I'm happy to keep the name Sumi. If you think I should rename Sumi, let me know. I'd love to hear. All right, we finally have some peace and quiet. I reloaded the lot. I got rid of the other cats. It's fine. We just have one cat now. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to do it here, but... 
past cast is not communicating with I didn't even remember I'd done it. By the way, if you're wondering when you're suggesting names, apparently Sumi is a male. So Synth is basically trying to make awkward conversation with Robert. I'm gonna actually have him be a little bit argumentative. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so conflicted. A difficult family dynamic. They have to get remarried. <laughs> This isn't a Phoenix situation. This is a they have to get remarried. I guess I could change it later. And if I say yes to this now, it would it would drive the story towards the divorce. So I'm going to say yes. He's basically saying, look, you flirted with that man in front of me and his wife who is pregnant. And Synth is like... Maybe she didn't mean to be flirty. Maybe she thought she was being polite, but she kind of crossed the line a little bit. But certainly enough that they both reacted. So she's like, I was just trying to be friendly. I just, you know, complimented him on the way his suit fit him. I said it looked really good on him. And he's like, yeah, but you looked at his butt while you said it. Maybe it was something like that. Where Sin thought she was being cute and she wasn't. She was being inappropriate. And he's, so he's having a go at her about that. He's eye rolling from listening to an overachiever, has anxiety about being cheated on, and feels like the argument loser, really? My dude, you are in the right. Now I had planned for Synth to go and see Lavender because I want to know if Lavender's pregnant. It's too late now, obviously, but she doesn't have work tomorrow. So I'm thinking tomorrow on her day off when he's at work, she can maybe go. I would like her to work on her guitar skill. So I might have her just pull that out and practice on that for a little bit. He's like trying to distract himself from the fact he had a fight. Honestly, they got married so quickly. They're probably both actually wondering if they rushed into things. Oh my lord, you actually suck. I forget how little she's actually playing guitar. Oh, what was I thinking? Getting a meowing cat. Why won't it shut up? Okay, yeah, she's guitar level one, but look how fast her skill goes up. Dang, that, she's rocketing through. I'm not doing this on fast speed, you guys. I mean, she does have, I think she's got the creative trait from childhood. She's got Savant. We have the trait on the lot now. Fear of being cheated on, fear of death. Oh my goodness, this story writes itself. So I decided after their fight and everything that I'd have since sleep on the couch. Oh, it's love day. Oh, that is so awkward. I'm trying to apologize to Robert. So let's make something yummy. The full fry up. Let's do a full big breakfast. Look, I put a ball there. Just play with it, you noisy thing. He's not actually going to be able to have time for big breakfast, is he? So he's going to get up and be like, well, no, I'm going to have a bowl of cereal. He wants to become friends with Angelo. Look, I think that is unlikely. We're going to reroll that. Uh, chat with Angelo. No, stop it. And she's like, oh, you're eating already? And he's like, yeah, I've got to leave shortly. She's like, oh, but I was going to make a big breakfast. It's like, I have to leave. I can't be late. I'm a teacher. My work is not flexible. I don't like how they're putting plates on the floor. I think I need to... In fact, I'm going to do that real quick because we do have the money. There we go. Hopefully they stop putting plates on the floor because it's very annoying. Oh, by the way, the cat actually hissed at Synth after I, like, after Robert went to bed last night. <laughs> Full on because it started scratching the couch. So I had her discipline it and it hissed at her. I think she's regretting all of her life choices. She'll put that away. And then why don't we invite Lavender over? Because I want to see if Lavender's pregnant and I think... Given she's just had her first fight with Robert, I think she would be keen to get a second opinion. All right, well, I didn't need to like ask if Lavender was pregnant because boy howdy. Oh my goodness. It's like, oh my God, you look beautiful. I love it so much. Let's do the small talk and focus on the baby first before we get into the whole Robert situation. Let's, no, it was gender, right? Determine the baby's gender. She's like, hey, I've learned how to tell without even an ultrasound machine. You know, do you want to know? And Lavender's like, of course. Oh, she's pregnant with a little girl. That's so exciting. Say, like, hey, you know, come over any time. And it's, this is, 
you know, probably, I mean, Lavender has seen the house, but she's like, you know, the place is looking great. I love what you've done with it. Let's confess. We had a big fight with Robert. And he was so mad at me. I kind of flirted a little bit with the neighbor when they came over with fruitcake. And Lavender's like, why did you do that? And she's like, well, I was just kind of being like friendly, like in the same way Lavender's like, like, what did you go? Rawr? I mean, not quite, but she's basically confiding that, you know, he was so mad at me and what if I've made a mistake? I mean, Lavender was probably thinking that Hyacinth did rush into things. The fact that they eloped straight away, all of that was very fast. And Lavender's feelings were probably a little bit hurt too. Sure, you can like small talk. So Lavender's probably like, well, I think, you know, you have married Robert. You should definitely try and make it work. But, you know, if you ever need support or you ever feel like you need to kind of take a break or whatever, you know, you're always welcome at my home. And she's just trying to be supportive, but also thinking since you'd rush into things and since instincts on that are correct. I'm just actually going to spam click this and hope that she does it more than once. Yeah, we've learned not to jump up on counters. That's what I was hoping for. She's she's like, when he gets home, go on a date. She doesn't want to give flowers, so she's not so interested in that. But she's like, I'm going to be super romantic with him. We're going to have a wonderful love day. Now, if you're wondering... I had her play until about two in the morning. I'll show you her skill because it's wild to me. She's almost at guitar level five and she got that in, what, three hours in game? So this is Synth. You heard what she was like last night. She's so good. Unbelievably talented. The cat is not a fan of the guitar. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Look how scared. They are. Robert cannot catch a break. So he's feeling dazed, got a mental fog from work. He has a work rivalry. These things suck. Robert can't stand Bria Kinsey. Whether Bria knows it or not, it's the start of a workplace rivalry. Robert won't be able to earn promotions until this matter is resolved. He can try be befriending or sabotaging Bria at work to remedy the problem. Meeting up after hours is also an option, whether he chooses to be more friendly or try more creative solutions. Are they suggesting murder? They might be suggesting murder. The poor guy. He's gonna, I'm gonna have him come in. Maybe have a little rant. Share your insecurities. You've had a really hard day, my dude. It started out the night before with a fight with your wife. So he's gonna come in. I guess he's talking about his work rival and like how he feels super like not secure at work and stuff. I'm going to have them sit on the couch together and discuss their fears. Because they're both, I think they're both feeling, well, she actually wants to discuss her fear of death right now. So he's explaining, look, I'm sorry. I just, I've been cheated on before. It's happened at school. And I just, I worry, like, I, I see things that maybe aren't there. And I'm really, really sorry. Mio's inviting him out. She's obviously trying to bond with him. Oh, he's feeling embarrassed from being hopelessly enamored with her. Look, that's actually really cute. Look, how much their relationship went down. I'm going to have them be super flirty with one another. They do want to go on a date. Uh, he also wants to give her flowers, but I don't think he bought any because he's had a stressful day. So maybe she could be like, let's, why don't we go out on a date? Get away from the cat. <laughs> Again, that's just me. All right, so the two of them have arrived at the club. It's the first time they've been here. So oh, she's like immediately going over to dance with him. That is so cute. Now, I did make a couple of little changes because I wanted to add some more things. So I've added a little nightclub DJ booth here and a dance floor. I did not know that this swatch of this dance floor existed. It came with the wedding pack. Oh my goodness. I also added a little karaoke bar up in this corner because, you know, I thought that just gave them some more options. This is so cute. They're actually just flirting with each other autonomously. The Sims, while they have difficult traits for one another, he's jealous. She's non-committal. They're the worst type of Sims to be together. The Sims do want to be a couple, it feels like. Like they keep... That's my food. They keep flirting with one another and like 
Excuse me, lady. Okay, he wants to discuss his relationship fears again. I feel like he's going to be having this conversation with her a lot. He is still struggling from a mental fog. Does he have... It is Friday night. So he does not have work tomorrow, which is good. It means he can sleep in. And she's like, it's fine. You know, I love you. She still has this want. <laughs> Aw, Luna's an elder. Wait, was Luna an elder last time I recorded? I don't think they were. They look so good as an elder, though. Wait, there are elders here. Discuss your fears. Can we not? Oh, she's a celebrity. I should have done it with Luna. Uh, are you an elder, sir? Yes. Let me discuss my fear of death with you. You only have a week left and you're angry about that and I understand. But he's not a celebrity. Discuss. Come on. Are we then? Are we finished with that fear? Okay, so the only fear she has is of being cheated on. Which, you know, this might be one of those situations where Synth is projecting. So the two have gotten home... And even though Synth is apparently incredibly tired, they are still having a suggestive conversation. And I think Synth is overcompensating for her instincts around wanting to cheat. But I have cued for them to woohoo. They're maybe doing it. I don't know. He seems quite upset about the idea. Okay, well, they're going to the bedroom, so they're either woohooing or going to sleep. Whichever. Whichever. All right, where's our cat? Why is it sad? This cat is always sad. Don't understand. Oh, this is not the place for you, kitty. The cat's like, hey, we're home. Can I hang out with you? Oh, wait. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm so embarrassed. I'm a ex stray, so I'm used to being able to come and go with my mates. They leave me at home, at home on my own. And then when they come home, they don't even say hello. They go into the bedroom. Do whatever they just did. Are you even meowing in your sleep? This cat is so noisy. Look at that belly, though. I would rub that belly. You'd probably get, get mauled. Actually, I wouldn't rub that belly. I'm allergic to cats. <gasps> Lavender's had a baby girl. Okay, I get to name her. Oh, it'd be such a long way to go back to figure out name suggestions you guys will have had for Plum. But also, I kind of want to do that. Just give me a sec. All right, I went back and had a look, and one of the baby name suggestions that goes with the whole lavender hyacinth floral theme and also marigold <laughs> is lilac, which I really love. I think that was Lady Sweet Tart Sims who suggested that. If you cast your mind back, you may remember. But I'm going to go with lilac berry. Hopefully it's just one. It didn't say she was pregnant with more than one. All right, we are going to join. So I think the first patient we're going to deal with is this one, just because the name is Jenny Tenebris, which means she's in some way related to Kelly. or not Kelly, Kerry which is the father of our new little niece. Come on, we want to get promoted. Swab that patient. Okay, she's got a fever and a rash. Already I'm thinking like bloaty head or that, whatever that flu was, because they're the ones I keep seeing. All right, so I didn't get a full on diagnosis. I've got the same two I always get, sweaty shivers and llama flu. It's probably the wrong one. I think I should have gone with sweaty shivers. It's fine. Let's, let's see if we can make this work. Please say yes. Ah, uh, was the other one? I knew it. It's funny how they pass out when you give them the wrong treatment. That's a little bit concerning. All right, I actually have the same two options on this lady as I had on the previous one, but she doesn't have a rash, so I'm hoping that that is in some way diagnostic. <laughs> so I've guessed llama flu again, but if it could be sweaty shivers, I feel like I get that one a lot. Yeah, it didn't work either. Am I just... Next time I'm just going to guess sweaty shivers. But we've like got poor performance now. She's on the edge of being fired if I'm not careful. Now she has completed all of this. So I'm not going to mess with it. Just going to get her to come down here. So I'm actually going to have her have a little chat to Hamza who works here. He's a nurse. I was thinking that if she was to flirt with somebody and potentially start a new relationship. Makes sense for it to be in the workplace. There are only two other sims here. One is Hamza. The other, oh, actually there's three. There's Hakura, Haruka. And there's this guy who I just, he's wearing the Kano eye makeup. So I don't know if I can go there. Hamza's like on the phone and stuff. Look, you probably have sweaty shivers. Can I just diagnose? <laughs> this is terrible. I'm going to get her fired. How mad would you be as a patient if all these people were standing here queued up to get admitted and then one of the nurses was like chatting 
to one of the staff, the, the one that's meant to be admitting you, right? Let me know what you think. Obviously, if Synth were to start flirting with him, I'd probably get rid of the moustache, give him a little bit of a makeover. I'm also not wild about that hair. It's not my favourite hair. But I'm just saying it's an option. So we've just gotten home and Taylor is here, which is a bit awkward. She's also mad about something. I don't know what. She's she's not happy. So I have just queued for Synth. I actually did it before I saw that Taylor was here. Synth has actually gone to just cook some dinner. Robert is hanging around in his pyjamas and playing with the cat. I expect Synth is probably a little bit annoyed that she's come home after having a terrible day at work where she got everything wrong and her husband is sitting around in his pyjamas. Let's discuss your stress mood. What is going on, Taylor? It's like, what's the matter? Reminisce about your wedding day. Maybe that's why she's mad. You want to become enemies with Bria. Wow. There's a lot happening in this household right now. I'm just saying. So I told Synth to come over and talk to Taylor while he was eating. And apparently it's an awkward encounter. I don't know why. Let's reveal a brilliant invention. Jealous pangs. It's not always reasonable. Well, no, it's not. She didn't even do anything. I was watching. Stop it, Robert. I'm starting to be on Synth's side here and I thought she was doing the wrong thing. And now he's being flirty. Well, come in and give her a passionate kiss. He's like, you know, finally I have you alone. I am having them woohoo a lot because I do want her to get pregnant, but I had not having them try for babies. So this is my logic. He's like, because he's feeling jealous and he maybe he's realized that Taylor actually had a thing for Synth and that was the cause of Taylor's jealousy. He's like being, oh my God, Robert seems to have high expectations lately. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I just feel like this whole episode is coming off the rails. I'm actually going to end it up. The camera just pulled towards him and frightened me. Anyway, I'm going to have them woohoo again. I've had him, like, initiate it. I don't know why this cat is sad. All I can think is something happened, like a death or something. They're acting like someone died, and I don't know why. Let me know what you think particularly of... There's a couple of things. Obviously, Robert has to focus on overcoming his workplace rivalry. He's now a snob as well. But honestly, he's committed to the relationship. Synth is the one with the problem and she wants to cheat. I think it makes sense. I mean, she flirted autonomously with that guy at the welcome wagon, but I haven't had her do anything yet. I wanted to wait until I heard from you guys. So let me know what you think. Also, hopefully you like the name Lilac. I think it's very cute. I'm super excited that Synth is an aunt. I might actually have Kerry and Lavender get married they were engaged in the last part and it makes sense, I think, that they would get married. If you have enjoyed, please like and subscribe, you know the drill. Don't forget to wash your hands and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching.